back guys. Welcome to my house. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I would typically eat after a morning training session. Um, so this is like my first main meal of the day. Um, typically before I train, if I'm training pretty early in the morning, I'll have oats and maybe some coffee, um, nothing too big. So this is typically like my first real meaty meal. Um, and it's super simple actually. So basically I just try my best to get as much protein as possible. Um, and that's super easy to do with egg whites. You just kind of load those in. So um, egg whites, I also add um, regular whole eggs and that's typically, again, after a workout. Um, I try not to have too much fat before a workout because it feels a little heavy. And um, some greens, which I always use broccoli slaw because it's super simple and I don't have to chop it up myself. So it's already done. Um, and then I try to get some uh, like bed of greens to put it all on. So I usually use arugula. So that's what we'll be using today. So for the uh, meats, I also use chicken sausage. And um, if I wanna add a little bit more protein in, which today I do, I'm also gonna add in some just simple deli ham, chop that up into my, my little uh, concoction that we have here. So while I'm doing this, I'm also gonna go through a few questions that um, people have asked on, on some of my channels. Things like about nutrition and also um, a big theme that came up was how I balance training with um, going to school or, or work. For me, it's school. For a lot of other people, it's work. Um, it will be work eventually, but not, not yet. So I'll, I'll just be going over and answering a few questions while I'm cooking. A lot of people have uh, two to three kind of things that they do that take up a lot of their time, take up most of their time, um, whether that be school, work, training, kids, um, things like that. So best not to spread yourself too thin, right? So you kind of have to find the two to three things that you find most important in your life and make sure that you're prioritizing those and, you know, not spending too much time on things that aren't as important to you and don't, there's a fly. <laughs> <laughs> so just make sure that you're not spending too much time on the things that don't really align with your goals. Um, so first thing to do is kind of figure out what those things are for you. It's different for everybody. Uh, but for me personally, I go to school full time. Um, and I also, I, I sort of have a job. I teach at the school that I'm at right now. Those are those the two things, two biggest things that I've chosen, uh, I've decided to, to take the most time on. So you just have to make sure that you're being productive with, with the hours that you do have um, in the day. Planning is always a good thing. Calendars are like a huge thing in my life. Um, they help just streamline everything um, and organize everything. And so inside of my two big things that I have, there are kind of like subsets within those things. So for example, like within my training, I have, I have to make sure that I, that I um, a lot time for sleep, recovery, obviously nutrition, things like that. Again, just like prioritizing those things separately as well and just kind of figuring out um, within your schedule, like what's, what's most important. Um, everyone has the time to do the things that they that they need to do it's just about like making sure that you are just productive with that time talking about like time and being productive like i make sure that i i, I make things easier for myself right like if i'm gonna if i'm gonna eat healthy and like nutrition is a big thing for me then i want to make sure that i make it as easy as possible to to do those things. So for example, like I don't want to cut vegetables because that takes way too long. So I do this and like just things like things like that. Just make your life a lot easier. So yeah, I just cut up the meat. That's basically all my prep. So now we're going to take all of this and just transfer it over to a pan. All right. So seriously, the good thing about cool thing about like breakfast and stuff is just like you just throw it all in a pan. It's super easy. Um, I use either olive oil or coconut oil for all of my 
pan frying stuff. So if there's a day where you just, you have too, too much to do within, you know, the given number of hours, at that point, you just, you have to make decisions. You have to make decisions based off your priorities. Um, so if you, if you have those priorities set in your head already of what's more important to you, it's easier to make those decisions to, you know, omit something out of your day or whatever, uh, if you know what your priorities are. So, uh, first step is to know your priorities and know what your goals are and making sure that like what you're doing throughout the day definitely aligns with your goals. Okay, pan's hot. We're putting the meat in first. Um, so even before I eat this meal, like I try to have something immediately after I work out. Usually it's carbs, even something that doesn't sound as healthy. Like I'll have like little cookies or something like that. Just easy carbs. Um, doesn't have to be the cleanest thing. That's just my opinion. Again, and I've said this before, like I'm not an expert on these things. You know, like I don't claim to be an expert. I just like to give advice on what's worked for me and you know, maybe it'll work for you, maybe it won't. You just kind of have to try it out on your own. You're a little fatty. You are only in here because there's food in here. So this is my pup razor and he only stands by me in the kitchen when I'm making food because he's a little fatty. He's a Basenji and Basenjis are super weird. Like they have like the weirdest temperaments and like see right here right now, he's super uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know how to like be held or anything. He's so weird, but I love him. I know, Bubba, that was exciting, huh? <laughs> yeah, so because, because I've decided that like training is more important to me and school is more important to me, I've given up some things, you know, like I've, I don't spend as much time with friends or family. Um, you know, I don't do some of the things that like more people would would do because that's what they value more and not that like I don't value that more it's just I've decided that in this time of my life that's what I that's what's important to me more important you just kind of have to make those decisions and be happy with them and and know that like just know that you're okay with the, making those those choices this is going to get messy because it's going to stick to the pan and sometimes that happens if you don't have good pans, which I don't. It's gonna stick to the pan and they're gonna be really ugly looking eggs. Uh, another one of the questions was, um, what got me into CrossFit? I was an EMT for a few years. I worked in the field for, for a little while and uh, that was after I graduated my undergrad. And I thought I wanted to get into the medical field, so I was an EMT. And then from there, I worked with a lot of firefighters and paramedics, and so I, I thought I wanted to be a firefighter paramedic. And this was around 2013, and CrossFit was kind of getting a little bigger at that time. And so uh, the training regimen of firefighters and first responders and police, things like that, were, uh, or the, the regimen was starting to become more CrossFit style. And so I thought that if I needed to get in shape, to be a firefighter, then I needed to do CrossFit. So hopped into a gym and uh, did a drop in for my first time. And that was, that was it. That's how I got started. I started being competitive because my gym had a uh, an in house competition. And I just started, or I just, I did that competition and um, I had so much fun with it. And so from there, I just started doing local competitions and the rest is history, so. Here I am. Okay, so now I'm adding the eggs. Um, I used to count macros. Um, I think that it's really good for everyone to, again, try everything that they, you know, all things, all different types of methods, nutrition, diets or whatever. Like everyone should try them out and see how they go. And sometimes they'll stick for some people. Um, I did macros for quite a while. I really liked it, actually. Um, you learn so much about what you eat, and I think that everyone at some point should do macros just to to know what you're taking into your body. After I did that for for a long time, I started to just kind of know. You just you get used to 
what is in what types of food and how much your body needs. Um, so after I did that for a long time, I realized that I didn't really need to count anymore. Like I didn't need to be so specific um, in my macro counting. So now I just sort of go by feel. I, I eat for performance. Um, and because I've done it, I, I did it for so long, I, I kind of can estimate what I'm eating and what my macros are. Every once in a while, if I start to feel like I'm getting a little bit off track, I'll count them just to kind of uh, to gauge where I am and, and make sure that I am eating enough. And then I just go back to, to not counting. So we have the meat, that's pretty much done. I, I like to get it a little bit browned before I put the egg whites in um, and the eggs. And then the veggies are a little soft. And then I put the egg whites and uh, I put in one egg. And then I think I'm also gonna make some avocado toast since again, you know, I like to have like my fats after my workout. Um, and if there's, if there's a, a long enough time between the morning session to the afternoon or evening session, I'll have more fats. But if I'm gonna be just like eating and then going to work out again within like an hour, I'll, I'll save my fats until like later in the evening when I'm completely done working out. All right, and while this is cooking, I'm going to toast some bread and cut up an avocado. Um, so the bread that I use, I usually do not eat wheat bread. Like sometimes I'll get like Dave's Killer bread or something like that, but to me, like white bread is the same as like wheat bread. It's all bread, it's all carbs. So I don't get super picky about that. I used to, but um, bread is bread. So avocados, you never know what they're gonna look like on the inside. Let's see if we got ourselves a good one. Ooh, look at that. I got distracted and burned it a little bit. It's fine. It's more of a frittata. Good thing is egg whites don't burn that easily. Okay, this is pretty much done, obviously. Um, so I'll just turn off the heat while my toast is going. Okay, so we can get this thing plated. So first, just put the greens down. Again, I don't measure anything. Probably like a cup of greens or something. It's never easy to measure greens though because they're so fluffy. That's not the right word. <laughs> and you cook them and it's like a teaspoon. Yeah, so just have the greens there. And then I have my whole hot mess of burnt eggs that I just slop right on top. This is definitely not pretty. And I have my toast. So, I mean, sometimes I add like a little bit of like salt on top. I'm just gonna leave it as is for now. No salt for today. And that's basically it has a lot of protein in it. Um, I'd, get, I'd estimate that this is probably like 50 grams of protein, 40 to 50, so it's quite a bit. And then the only carbs in here really are the veggies and the, and the bread. Like I said, I ate carbs in the morning before my workout and then I make sure that I eat carbs uh, immediately after my workout. So this is not really carb heavy. Um, and yeah, just make sure I got some greens in there. Oh yeah, and then of course the avocado, right? Avocados. Nice little healthy fat and then the egg too, like the egg yolk, some good fat. So yeah, so if you liked this type of video where I'm cooking, showing you guys what I eat um, regularly and answering questions and things like that, let me know in the comments. We can try to start doing this more regularly. Um, if you hated it, too bad. So yeah, like, subscribe. If you have friends who you think might enjoy this type of content, please share it. Um, share the love and that's it. I'm going to eat my food and that's it. So thanks for watching.